um, if that was my son, that would have been some serious consequences. Let's review Orphan 2009. That's the glory of love. Esther? Hey everybody, welcome back to yet again another movie review and we is at another movie I've been waiting to review on my channel for quite a while. And boy, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. But let me come out and say this. This is going to be a spoiler review, okay? I'm going to talk about major things that happened in this movie. But don't worry, you're safe for now, okay? So as soon as you see that spoiler pop up, get the hell out of here or skip skip it, okay? Just skip the entire spoiler section. So there's going to be a spoiler part of this movie because this movie's been out since 2009, okay? So I'm sure a lot of people have seen this movie, at least among the whole community, right? So we've seen this movie thousands of times. And another thing I want to talk about is I might say some things that might sound like I'm a violent person, but I'm not. I'm just saying stuff that happened in this movie is the reason why you need to start whooping your kids' asses, especially if it's necessary. So with all that being said, let's review The Orphan. But before I dive into all the good, the bad, and the ugly, let me give you a little bit of plot. This movie tells a story about a family that has to deal with the loss of a child and they don't know how to handle the situation at first until they were recommended to go adopt a child just to fill in that missing gap of a child that they lost at birth. And along the way, they decided to go to this adoption place where they can adopt a child. And they come across a little innocent little girl, go by the name Esther, who is being played by Isabella Formia, Forming, Forming, if, if, if that's how you pronounce her name. And throughout the entire runtime of this movie, we found out that Esther is not who she says she is or isn't she. So with the plot out of the way, let's just dive into the first pro. So my first pro with this movie will have to be the acting among these two characters. That's uh, Isabella Formia and Bill Farmiga. These two in this movie, I love the acting in this film because, especially um, Esther, especially uh, Isabella, she was legit nine years old in this film. And she did such a fantastic job for what she was given and what she was working with. And the fact that they put her in the one uh, in, from 2022, which is Orphan Folk Kill, which I will be reviewing soon. But the fact that they put her in that role as a nine-year-old, and then we'll get to the plot twist to that, and then what happened at the end makes this whole movie seem a lot different than what you already knew what was going on. Another quote for me would have to be, I already touched on it, is Bill Farmiga. So her reaction as a mother is exactly what a mother would do in a situation like this. There was time where she's very skeptic about who the hell is this little girl? Where did she come from? What, like, what triggered her? And the more she investigates, the more and more she starts to pull back different layers of what she thinks is wrong with this little girl. We'll get more to that in the spoiler section. Another part for me would have to be making you think that this here is an evil child movie when it's really not. The movie doesn't, like, like, like the movie wants you to think it's an evil child movie, but it's really not an evil child movie. And I like the fact that the movie does that, because how many times have you watched a movie and said, oh, this is another evil child movie? And this movie nails everything that it wants you to think. And that, I do like when a movie has misleading. That kind of makes, it, it frustrates me at the same time, but I like when a movie pulls the world from underneath my feet and I'm not expecting it. And another pro for me would have to be the tension and the atmosphere surrounding this movie keeps you guessing and wanting and until this entire movie is finished. One of the things about this movie is that the tension is always the best part. The atmosphere surrounding the movie is what keeps you guessing and wanting more. The fact that this movie gives you everything, it, 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 how do I put it, like it maintains the tension to the movie end. And to me, that's what makes a good thriller film, is the tension that keeps going and the atmosphere surrounding the movie. Because throughout this entire movie, you will throw up and down that you know what's about to happen before it happens, and it doesn't happen. There are so many times where a character will open on the, um, like the mirror window and take something out and close it, and you as the audience is expecting something to be right behind them. There's another time where a character will be walking up the stairs, and then they will aim the camera somewhere, and you would think you'll see somebody run right past, but it never happened. 
that right there is tension and, and, and that's what holds the atmosphere just a great afloat, at least for me. Another pro for me is the fact that they took inspiration from a true story. Yeah, walking is actually a real life true story. This actually happened in real life. And I think it's still an ongoing investigation right now about a little girl who's lying to people, telling people that she's a little girl, but really she's something else. But we'll get in, into that into the spoiler section. And another pro for me will have to be the sign language. So there's a little girl in this film who is deaf and she relies on sign language. And if you know, you know, but I'm hard of hearing and I know, I know a lot of sign language and yes, I do know how to do a couple of sign language. But the reason I put it in my pro because it puts a smile on my face to see that in movies. You don't really see sign language in movies, at least not very often. And I think they need to start using that more often because it's realistic. It adds another, like I said, it adds attention to the story because not knowing that the character can't heal is fucking scary as shit. And they use that for their advantage in this movie. Because the little girl cannot hear a single thing without her hearing aid. And I think that is what I'm talking about. The tension. And it makes you feel for her because she can't hear anything. Like I said, that sign language stuff put a big smile on my face. Okay, now, this is where I start to lean into my cons, okay? Which is not really a con, so I'm going to call this a myth element because I do like this movie. And you'll see my grade for it in just a second. But there's a lot of things in this movie that kind of pissed me off. And just like I said in the beginning, if that was my son, there would have been some mysterious fucking consequences. Because this little boy was just absolutely, I mean absolutely disrespectful as fuck. I swear to God, if that was my son, there would have been some serious consequences with this little boy. So, in my mix, I talked about the dad in this movie. He is a very unsupportive husband. There's so many times where his wife would tell him there is something off about this goddamn this daughter that we adopted. There's something off about this chick. And for whatever reason, he finds the need to not believe his wife. Now, this ain't your girlfriend. This ain't your fiance. This ain't some chick you met on a fucking dating app. This is your wife. Okay, this is a wife that you said your I do to. This is a wife. Okay, this ain't no girlfriend. This is a fucking wife. And there's so many times where he cannot connect the dots at all. And he's just so skeptical of everything that his wife says, no matter what. Specifically, there's this thing. Now, this is one of the spoiler parts, okay? It's not really a spoiler, but this is a situation that happened in the movie. So there's a scene in the movie where they all sitting at the dinner table. And Esther is cutting her steak. And then the son says to, um, uh, to Esther, can you please eat normal? And then Esther go, I am eating normal. And then the dad says, hey, knock it off. Do not talk to, like, do not talk to your sister like that. And the little boy, flat ass out, came, like, the little boy came out and said, she's not my fucking sister, boy. I'm telling you, this is why I said there needs to be some consequences. There's another scene where they is at school. And he obviously see people bullying her. And he doesn't think to stand up for his sister. Even though it's not really his sister she's adopted. But at least, at, at least have a reason to want to protect someone. He's just automatic evil to her for unnecessary reasons. Another time in this film where the husband and the wife were doing, you know, the dirty dirty in the kitchen. And Esther saw them doing it. And so the wife goes to Esther's room and try to explain to her what she saw. And Esther came out and said, yeah, they fucked. Like, I already know. When people love each other, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? They do the dirty dirty. And so she goes back to her husband and tells her husband that Esther just said a bad word. And she's supposed to be a little girl. So she shouldn't be talking like that, right? And the husband say, well, maybe it's just one time. You know, maybe she won't say it again. Do this is why I said this guy is a very unsupportive husband. He, he is like he's never understanding for any type of situation that, that, that his wife is telling him. Another myth element for me would have to be the fact that his wife tell him that she did not drink, okay? Because she, because she is a recovering alcoholic. And so she goes to the liquor store to go buy some alcohol. But she never drank it. 
she never took a skip. She pulled it out. So the very next day, her daughter find the body that she's supposed to have drunk the liquor out of. And, and his wife tell him, I did not drink it. I pulled it out. And he don't believe her. What kind of husband are you? So he basically don't believe his wife. He tell where you're going to have to go to um, the, or like the AA and shit like that to try to you know saying, recover yourself. And she said, I didn't fucking drink it. But if that's what you want to prove a fact, I, I will go. I would fucking divorce his ass if I was her. And to go along with that, he ended up drinking the fucking um, the bottle because she bought two bottles. He ended up drinking one after he just criticized his wife from drinking it. Like I said, this guy is a very unsupportive husband, okay? Because there is no way in hell that a husband will react like that, especially knowing the situation that his wife came from after losing a child. You gotta have a better way of understanding, dude. This here is the spoiler part, okay? So if you've never seen this movie, this is the part where you leave, okay? If you've never seen it, please leave. Go experience this movie the way that I did. So in this film, as the mother begins to notice certain things, there are so many times where Esther will lock the door. There are so many times Esther will say something that's a little odd for a girl her age. And so the mother has to go out throughout the entire one time of the movie trying to piece together on who the hell is this and why she acting like this. So she did a bit of a, some digging to find out where she came from, who was her parents, where, like, like where she from, little shit like that. The more she starts to dig along the way, Esther is basically planting something against the mother. And so the mother is planting something against her. So basically, basically like a little cat and mouse game, if you would say. They both planting something um, against each other. And for your part, so she gets a phone call from one of a private investigator and has said that, where is Esther right now? She said, she's at my house. Why? With my husband. And so the guy on the phone said, um, Esther isn't who she says she is. She's not nine years old. She's actually a 33-year-old grown-ass woman. And that's when the entire movie gives you goosebumps knowing exactly, holy shit, they just adapted a grown-ass woman. And that's when the movie turns into a fight-for-your-life type of movie. At the end of this film, after we found out that Esther is a grown-ass woman, we found out that the mother now has to do anything, and I mean anything, to protect her family. And what happened? She go home and see her deceased husband is now there, who was killed by Esther, the grown-ass woman, and now she has to fight for her life because now her daughter is alone in the house. Her son is at the hospital because he fell off a cabin that Esther lit on fire. And at the end of this film, Esther go, don't let me die, mommy. And then the mother say, I'm not your fucking mama and kicked her face and she fell into uh, like an ice pit and died. That's basically the end of the movie. So my grade... For this movie, despite all the missed elements that I have for the film, I would truly have to say my grade for this movie is an A minus. I love this fucking movie. It's one of them films that I can always rewatch over and over and over no matter what. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you think of this movie in the comments. If you've seen this movie, let me know what you think of this movie in the comments down below. But like I said, this movie is fucking awesome. My overall thoughts is that if you haven't seen it, Please watch this movie. If I spoiled it for you, I'm truly sorry, because, but this movie is worth a watch. If you want to watch something, please watch this film. So that's pretty much going to wrap up today's Pacific Review. If you want to get in touch with your boy, social media link will always be in the description down below. And just before I let you go, my name is Tevin Johnson, and I love horror movies. And be sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and... Turn on that fucking bell notification so that way when I drop another lit video for the channel, you'll be the first one to get it. And I hope it catches you here with it in my next video.